everybody on my modern homestead. Today we're doing pears. The first thing we need to do is wash them to make sure they're good and clean. I just filled my sink up with some cold water and a couple of drops of basic H and I've just kind of swished them around so I felt like they were all good and clean and then I'm just going to move them to cold clean water. When we're done, we'll make some, I don't know what we're going to make yet. I haven't decided. I know I need to make some um, pear sauce. My husband likes pear sauce way better than applesauce. And then I will probably do some pears with cherries, but I've got to go get cherries before I can do that. And if there's enough, I'm just going to make plain pears in a simple syrup. We'll be back. Hey friends, we are back. We've got all of our pears out of the rinsed water so they're good and clean. Now I have a food meal, so what I'm going to start, one of my jars just pink. What I'm going to start with is coring the pears. You just want to cut this little part out. Keep your knife pointed down because if it slips, it's going to slip up to you and cut you. So keep the blade down. There we go, cut that end out, cut this end out. Doesn't have to be perfect, just keep your blade down. Just like that. And then chop it. And then we'll cut this part out because we don't want this in our pear sauce. I'm not a chef. Don't judge me if you are. I'm self-taught. <laughs> I didn't grow up learning how to cook. Had to learn on my own. Had to learn to can on my own. And bless my sweet sister's heart. I have been looking for pears for forever. And she texted me the other day and said, Sis, I've got all these pears that somebody gave to me. I'm not going to use them all. Would you like them? A uh, crazy question, sister. Of course I do. So I went yesterday and picked up, and she had canned hers. Oh my goodness, they were so pretty. She did a wonderful job canning hers. So there we go. We just want most of that hard core out to be left with this. They don't have to be small. Do it like that. Drop them in some cold water. Try to keep them from turning so brown. And then we've got to get all of these done. <laughs> we'll be back after a while. Okay, here we go. We've got them all cored and in the water. Now we just have to boil them till they get soft. Okay, here we go. I think we are finally there. I didn't think these poor pears would ever get done. But they are finally fork tender and we're ready to run them through the mill. Okay, this is our food meal. We're using a slotted spoon to remove the pears. Drain off as much of the water as you can. We'll just start with those. Okay. Use our plunger, just kind of push them down. Beautiful sight. Beautiful pear cells. Oh, 
it's so great to have help. We are at the last of the pairs and everybody's ready to go to bed. We're almost done. Look, we have it all finished. Isn't that pretty? Now, we're not going to waste anything. All of this that came out of the meal will go out to the deer or hogs <laughs> whenever they're moving through. But now we have our nice thick sauce and I'm doing something tonight I never do. This is going to cool down a little or a lot and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I've never done that before but I have early morning classes to teach and I've got to go to bed. But I do want to tell you to mine I will be adding sweetener. That's the way my husband likes it. And cinnamon. I do not have exact measurements and you can use your sweetener of choice. I usually like to use my favorite stevia, but I don't have any, so <laughs> sugar it is this year. It's all right, we don't eat it very often. And when we do eat it, we don't eat a lot of it. So just a little, and <laughs> that cinnamon's not open. And just sprinkle whatever looks right to you, whatever tastes good to you. Whether you like a little or you like a lot, it will be great. <laughs> Just start with a little. You don't want to overdo it because you can't take it out. <laughs> so, my friends, until tomorrow, we're done. It's a new day here on the homestead. We're feeling much better today. I have my apple, uh, not the apple sauce, pear sauce here, and it has been in the refrigerator overnight. So now I need to get it back into a pan to heat it back up so that we can can it. So we're just gonna get as much as we can into the pan. I thought about putting it in my big um, kettle, but I'd rather just do it in the little one, it's easier. There's not so much weight on my stove. <laughs> we took this big roaster pan. I made it work. I stuck it all in this little pot. So we're done with that part now. I'll just get this on the stove and get it hot and we'll be right back. While you're heating up your sauce, go ahead and get your jars hot so that when you're ready to pour hot sauce, you have hot jars and you won't crack any. Alright, it's time. Jars are hot. This is light. Um, this is hot, just slightly boiling. I've already turned it down some. So, it's time to fill the jars. I love this little funnel. It helps you get the right head space and helps you from making such a huge mess. I tend to be terribly messy in the kitchen sometimes, as hard as I try not to be. I guess that's just who I am. Alright, I forgot to tell you, when you're heating up your sauce, that's when you want to put in your lemon juice too. I forgot to tell you. So when we're doing the sauce, you want about a half inch head space, wipe the rim. Get all the yuckies off. Ah. Flat and a ring. And twist until it starts turning and then that's tight enough. And into our water bath it's going to go. 
We'll work as quickly as we can. And once we get all of our jars full, we'll be ready to set the timer. Okay, look at the little beauties. They're all ready. I don't know what it was about this year. They took me a while, but they'll be worth it later. Just carefully remove them. And I use an old pot holder and I'm gonna go sit them to cool. Ta-da! There's the last of our pints. Now it's time for the quartz. And we're done. Yay! Whew. That was some hard work. But look, it was great work. I'm so glad that part's done. We still have more pairs to do but at least one job is done. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.